Hey guys, and welcome back to Legends of Idle On. And today we are going to be opening up some of my Easter loot here. This was the loot I got from actually just buying the Easter bundle. Like that's still how far back we are with this, uh, with this, some of these videos here. So going to be checking out that loot and uh, combining it with some of the other loot to see what we can get, uh, because this should result in quite a number of mini bosses that I can uh, defeat for hopefully some other interesting loot here. Looking at the World 4 tasks, I don't see a whole lot that's useful here, to be honest. They're kind of underwhelming. Uh, so I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to pick on there yet. Uh, the Crystal Mob spawn chance looks okay, but uh, if I'm going to be active farming that anyways, maybe not so interesting. So let's open up some of this loot here. So these are the mobs that you spawn from like the gummy things and they drop cards and they drop candy lots of candy from this event very interesting aspect of this event and uh should be interesting to decide how i'm going to use all that candy definitely means i'm going to be farming this event hardcore or i should say i've already been farming this event hardcore lots of cards as well these don't seem like the most op cards ever down here but most of the event ones to be fair are not the strongest but some of them do have some interesting uh, bonuses on them that could come in handy for specific things as you can see I got a dudo phone uh, I was testing out a couple of uh, the gold capsules and got that kind of interesting I don't know what its exact use is but people are saying it's pretty good um, I know you can spawn dude with it I think but I don't know if it's a one-time thing or if you can use it over and over anyways let's go into the gold capsules I'm just going to spawn all of these, so it's like 70 plus, maybe close to 75, whatever it said it was, and uh, we're going to take them all out at once here. I have my drop rarity up to 4.56. I was able to put some chips on to help a little bit in the lab. <laughs> so you can see here we've got... Uh, We've got Doot here, we've got Baba Yaga, we've got Dr. Deficus, and we even got one of the new slush bosses, a couple of them actually. So this should be uh, very interesting to see what type of loot we're able to get out of this. Um, my drop rate isn't maxed, but it's up there enough that I think we should get something good. So uh, I guess we will just do this i was just pausing here long enough so i could actually get like a screenshot for the future thumbnail so here we go whoa lots of stuff lots of recipes dropping sadly from some of these i mean there's candy dropping but there's also a lot of like useless stuff like pizza and like no life pants and like other stupid stuff and like world two stones Uh, we're getting some time thingies. Oh, uh, look at that. A trimmed rune plate legs in there. I've never gotten one of those. Never got one because I didn't really farm dude. And it kind of sucks though. I finally got a rim tr trimmed rune plate legs like right as I probably no longer am going to find it useful. Kind of sucks because for a while that was like a bling thing to have. We got some new recipes going to be interesting to see what all these are i think it's for some of the new items on the different uh, earlier crafting tabs like not world four but it's probably uh for some of the other stuff i don't think it's for the splicers so we have uh could get some talent books as well i mean we did but they could be some new things could just be higher levels of things we already have the cards are good because i don't actually have I have dude at like silver so I can appreciate any cards I can get for dude and Dr. Deficus as well that's a good card and I really don't have it to the point I should have it at so let's uh, get the last few mini bosses down here and uh, keep sorting through some of this loot Sorting through the loot here is just going to be like several minutes at least just to get through all of it. So there we go. We got all of 
the mini bosses down. I have to clear some space, uh, get rid of some stuff, more recipes, just stuff I already have. There it is. You can see trimmed room plate legs. The only interesting thing about that one is it has a plus 10% defense bonus, which as you, you know, get into the later game, it seems like that could be an interesting bonus, especially if there was a way to use... I tried using um, the random stones on it, but it didn't seem to really work or on some of this type of stuff. Well, later on, I should say, spoiler, I tried using them on the trim and plate legs. Apparently, crafting items don't seem to work with random upgrade stones right now or something like that. I thought they did in the past, but apparently... Because I was thinking if I could get that percent defense bonus up higher, maybe there could be some sort of gimmicky use for that in the uh, late game, just because that's actually a higher defense bonus than the luster legs give not that defense is really useful um but just kind of as a gimmicky thing to have i was gonna see if i could random roll that to a higher bonus because the raw stats aren't gonna scale with end game but a percent bonus like you know some high percent defense bonus might if it actually had a use so uh, just a lot of random loot here to sort through. Mostly trying to get all the recipes to double check that I got everything. I think we got the uh, bludgeon upgrade, but I'm probably not going to use that at this point. I think it's a polished bludgeon. Probably not going to use that. I think the chaotic cheese or scarf should be obviously still better, right? So once I get those on all my characters, there's no way I'd use polished bludgeon. Or regular bludgeon for that matter. So, yeah, pet situation as of this video. Uh, we're still going through wild boars. Probably going to give up on world one at some point here and start moving down the chain to try and get lots of people saying I should get flashy in world uh, three. So probably going to go and do that in a future video here. So that's gonna conclude it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing all that mini boss loot. I've never seen anything like that before. That was just crazy. This event has been giving a crazy amount of candy and you'll see pretty soon what I'm gonna use that candy for. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. So leave a like if you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.